characters have to have a desire in every single scene they're in. Without desire, there is no drama. It's absolutely dead. Every character has, has what we call, well, obviously a scene objective. Okay, a very, very clear thing. Um, and the, the, the best illustration that I can find is in, is in musicals. Um, Disney actually codify it in the guide to writing Walt Disney musicals. Is your first, second, or third song has to be the wish song. Um, you have to express what your character wants right at the beginning of the film, basically. Second point, though, is, 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 um, uh, is there's a deeper, fundamental desire that you need in the creation of the character. Um, so you can have a jack of the character's need. So you have a conscious want, which can change according to the scene they're in. But in their fundamental conception, there's something uh, that you need to hang on, which is normally a flaw. Okay, a flaw in the character. Characters have to be flawed, or you've got nowhere for them to go. Uh, and the mistake a lot of people make is to make perfect characters, mm. perfect doctors. They're boring. Why bother? It's not good to learn. In all drama, in the drama archetype, there is only one story. And it's a journey towards completion. And again, that's why you don't um, reveal everything at the beginning. That's why you hold back information, because you want the audience to fill in the jigsaw. Um, the minute you complete the character, they're dead. They're full. They're absolute. And of course, they're of no use to you dramatically. So, so do you find that in the creation of a character, you'll often know what's going to happen over the course of you the series? You'll, the, you'll know the end result. You should do. But you're going to try and play it out as long as you can keep yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, you know.